today we are going to look at uh, a less known person called Andrew. All right? So I want you to open your Bible to the book of John, chapter 1, verses 29 through 42. That's our text today. John, chapter 1, verses 29 through 42. In the Ravala Samekala, Namala Yohanan Association, on Namadiam, Idibati on Buddha, Mother Nalpatra and Duero Walking Alana, Thani Kuan Vendi Pogana, Patikuan Vendi Pogana, Karina Archela and Torangia, the topic of the Ne, in them continue and the Konatan Piripurno, Walare, Korcha, Ari Purna, Kartavan decision Aya, Andreas and Kurche, Chilagarangla, the U or the Nathan the Patikuanum, Namaji with the Animpongal, Namaji with the Atmi Maitula, Chella Padangala, Namal Patikuan and the Konatan Piripurno, John chapter one. And I want to read from verse number 35 on till 42. Verse number 35 on. You know, let me just read it for you. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Let me just go on to verse number 35. Again, the next day, John was there again and two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, what do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come, he replied, you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying and they spent that day with him. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew Simon Peter's brother was one of the two who heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, we have found the Messiah, that is the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Pitenal, Yohanan, Pinaim, Tanda Sishinmaral, Randiberimaya, Avada Nalakambol, Kadana Bogana Yeshivin in Okita, Ida Devath and Kunyada in the Paranu. I want Parana, our undecision marketer, Yeshu in Yanakamichu. Yeshu Tirinia, our Pinala Varina the Ganda Roda, Ningalent and Nishikin in the Chodichu, our Rabbi, and the Vachal Guru, near a park on the Chodichu. I want our order, one the Kanmi and the Parano. Angane, I want Vasik in the Edam, our Kandu, Anna Vodu, a Parthu, a Polega, the Shampataman in Eram Ireno. Yohan and Parana the Gertam and Anakamichi and the Bell Luritan, Shimon Patros and the Sahoda and I Andreos Ireno. I want to say that I see one of the things I want to say that 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 E disciple ne kurcha langer, e sishe ne kurcha adi ondo namlal chindikyo parayyo ondan cheyarilla. But he is the first disciple of Jesus Christ. How many of you know that he was the first disciple of Jesus Christ? See, I told you. He is the first disciple of Jesus Christ. Yeshu inde adhyata sishe na ana andreyo sundu parayna e vekti. The first disciple. Now, I want you to think about this thing. When you want to do something, you are particular that certain things should be done a certain way because the first thing matters, right? The first thing matters. And when Jesus picked his disciples, he was very careful whom he was going to pick. And he picked Andrew. Bethsaida, which is of the northern shore of Sea of Galilee. 
ഗലില കടലിന്റെ വടക്ക് ഭാഗത്തുള്ള ബസേദ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു ഗ്രാമത്തിൽ ജീവിച്ചിരുന്ന ആളായിരുന്നു അന്ത്രയോസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ആൾ you know today as we go through this message i want all of us to compare ourselves with andrew and see how we fare as the disciple of jesus christ in the ravale samayakalam ee vajanathilude nammal pogumbam nammal andreyosumayittu onnu compare edittu nammal eppragaram yeshuvinte shishyan aayirikkunu ennulla kaaryathe kuriche namukku namme thanna shodhana cheyyam hallelujah now if you look at his nature the very first thing that you going to see is this that he acted on the revealed truth quickly he acted on the revealed truth quickly and this is something that is needed for a disciple he acted on the revealed truth quickly is there a slide can you put on the slide we totally forgot about that <laughs> all right okay so this is something that is really important for uh this disciple all right some of us you know we all we all have this issue how many of you would say that maybe you know how many of you look for a monday to start something i'm i'm one of those i have to start something on monday you know just the problem is so many mondays would go after that still you haven't started you know many of us would think that well i need to exercise and i need to do something really good for my body and i'm going to start on monday right we just think like that and and monday would come tuesday would come and then we wait for the next monday you know we 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 all do that we don't act quickly and and that's the problem with us namakku ellarku ullor kolappam nammal pettanu satyam arnjal adinu respond nammal cheyathilla adinu pettanu pradhiyarikkathilla pettanu nammal act cheyathilla kaaryathilla but andrew was entirely different andrew was a different person let me tell you this the more we wait on something the more less likely it is going to happen nammala ottiri wait cheyanengile valare korache adu nadakkanulla saadhyathe ullu ar edu kaaryathinanengilum wait cheyindorum wait cheyindorum adu nadakkaadirikkanulla saadhyathayana etthom koodudalayittullathu if the lord has put something in your heart you need to act immediately ningale hrudayathinatha deivam endengil oru kaaryam thannale adu pettanu adinu vendi work cheyanam If God gives you a dream make sure you act on it immediately if God gives you an idea make sure you act on it immediately if God directs you some you know to go somewhere do it immediately the reason is the more you wait less likely it is going to happen and the more you wait the devil is going to come with a lot of obstacles and it becomes so hard but Andrew was entirely different ഞാൻ പറയട്ടെ പ്രിയമുള്ളവരെ നമ്മൾ ചില കാര്യങ്ങൾ ദൈവം നമ്മുടെ ഹൃദയത്തിനകത്ത് ഒരു ആലോചന തന്നാൽ അത് പെട്ടെന്ന് തന്നെ നമ്മളത് സ്വീകരിക്കുകയും നടപ്പാക്കുകയും വേണം ദൈവം നമുക്കൊരു ഐഡിയ തന്നാൽ അത് പെട്ടെന്ന് നമ്മൾ നടത്തണം എത്രയും നമ്മൾ വെയിറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നോ അത്രയും അത് നടക്കാതിരിക്കും അത് മാത്രമല്ല പിശാജ് അതിൻ്റെ എല്ലാം പുറത്ത് വർക്ക് ചെയ്യുകയും ചെയ്യും പക്ഷേ ഈ ആൻഡ്രു എന്ന് പറയുന്ന അന്ത്രയോസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഈ ശിഷ്യൻ യഥാർത്ഥത്തിൽ adinde opposite aayirunnu he was the opposite of you know just what we talked right now he acted quickly and now we all know that he was a disciple of john the baptist he was a disciple of john the baptist and for verse number 29 only you find that you know john was you know baptizing people and he was preaching and all of a sudden jesus just walks by namukku ariya yohannane sishyan aayirunnu ee andreyos appo ഒരു ദിവസം യോഹന്നാൻ അവിടെ നിന്ന് സ്നാനപ്പെടുത്തിക്കൊണ്ട് നിൽക്കുമ്പം യേശു അതുവഴി കടന്നുപോയി ജീസസ് പാസ് ദാറ്റ് വേ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ യു നോ ജോൺ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ജീസസ് ആൻഡ് ഹി സെഡ് ഹിയർ ഇസ് ദ ലാം ദാറ്റ് ടേക്സ് അവേ ദ സെൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ വേൾഡ് ലോകത്തിൻ്റെ പാപത്തെ ചുമക്കുന്ന ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ കുഞ്ഞാട് എന്ന് യേശുവിനെ കുറിച്ച് വിളിച്ചു പറഞ്ഞു ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഡിസൈപ്പിൾസ് ലിസൺ ടു വാട്ട് ജോൺ ദ പാപ്റ്റസ് സെഡ് ഇതെല്ലാം യഥാർത്ഥത്തിൽ യോഹനാൻ അപ്പോസോൾ യുനോ ജോൺ ദ ബാപ്റ്റിസ്റ്റിന്റെ ഹലലൂയ യുനോ സ്നാപക യോഗനാന്റെ ശിഷ്യനായിരുന്ന ആന്ധ്രയോസ് ഈ കാര്യമെല്ലാം കേട്ടു ദ വെരി നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഡേ ജീസസ് പാസ് ബൈ അഗൈൻ അടുത്ത ദിവസവും യേശു അതുവഴി പോയി പോയപ്പം യുനോ ജോൺ ദ ബാപ്റ്റിസ്റ്റ് ഹി ജസ്റ്റ് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ജീസസ് ആൻഡ് സെഡ് ഹിയർ ദ ലാമ്പ് ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് എ സഡൻ യു സി ആൻഡ്രിയു ഡിസൈഡ് ടു ആക്ട് ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് if he is the lamb of god i'm not going to wait with john the baptist don't think that john the baptist had only two disciples yohannan snabagane rendu sishyamare undayirunnu aaru chindikirathu 
യോനാൻ സ്നോമാണ് ഒത്തിരി ശിഷ്യന്മാരുണ്ടായിരുന്നു അവരെല്ലാരും ഈ വാക്കുകളൊക്കെ കേട്ടു പക്ഷേ അന്ത്രയോഷന് ഒരു പ്രത്യേകത ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഈ വചനം വെളിപ്പെട്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ ഇമീഡിയറ്റ്ലി അതിൻ്റെ പുറത്ത് ആക്ഷൻ എടുക്കുവാൻ തക്കവണ്ണം അന്ത്രയോസിന്റെ ഹൃദയത്തിനകത്ത് തോന്നി ഹലലൂയ is morning let me just tell you my friend sometimes the the message would come to you and the lord would speak to you as a disciple of jesus christ you are supposed to obey him immediately yesuvinte sishyanmarana pratheegatha endha nariyamo yesuvinte vadanathinte porathu pravartikkunna aalukala it is not their logic that matters it is not their understanding that matters it is not what other people think about them what matters is the truth hallelujah മാറ്റർ ചെയ്യുന്ന കാര്യം എന്താണെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ മറ്റുള്ളവർ എന്നാ ചിന്തിക്കും മറ്റുള്ളവർ എന്നാ പറയും യോഹന സ്നാപകൻ എന്നാ പറഞ്ഞ ഇത്ര നാൾ കൂടെ നടന്നില്ലയോ ഇട്ടേച്ച് പോയാൽ എന്തോ ചിന്തിക്കും എന്ന് വിചാരിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് അന്തരോശം മാറി നിന്നില്ല കർത്താവിന്റെ പുറകെ അങ്ങോട്ട് നടക്കാൻ തുടങ്ങി ഹലലൂയ ഹലലൂയ ജീസസ് and somewhere you have to start a conversation and i know that you know sometimes it is really hard to start a conversation and and immediately andrew said where do you live nee evada thamasikkan i know that you are the lamp of god i heard it from my master i heard it from from my teacher but where do you live and what was jesus answer jesus simply said come and see come and see now think about this thing somebody you just ask somebody where do you live and that person immediately to come and see would you follow him would you just walk after him no we will think twice you know just we won't go we won't go because we are worried we are concerned but somehow he believed that word and he walked with jesus spent a day with him spent that night with him and then afterwards we don't see him coming back and saying bye to john the baptist adine shesham yohannes naamo and aduthu vanna nanna poi torathe nonnum choichilla yesuvinte kooda pinna ang nadakkan thodangi hallelujah he followed jesus he acted on the truth immediately he acted on the truth immediately that is something that we all need in our lives sometimes we don't want to act on the truth sometimes we value other people we value the opinion of other people opinions of other people we value you know just uh, the logic of other people we sometimes value our education what you know what our learning tells us and and we wait and we wait and we wait palappol namukulla kolappu endha nariyamo nammada logic nammalode parayum ingane aanannu parayum ഹലലൂയ നമ്മൾ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്ന കുറെ ആൾക്കാർ ഇങ്ങനെയാണെന്ന് പറയും അതെല്ലാം കേട്ടേച്ച് ദൈവം പറഞ്ഞ കാര്യം ചെയ്യുവാനുള്ള മനസ്സില്ലാത്തവരായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ തീരാറുണ്ട് ഹലലൂയ ഇന്ന് രാവിലെ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ആത്മാവ് ചിലരോട് സംസാരിക്കുക ഗാഡ് ഹാസ് പുട്ട് സംതിങ് ഇൻ യുവർ ഹാർട്ട് ആൻഡ് ഹിസ് സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഹാസ് ടക്ട് യു സെവറൽ ടൈംസ് ബട്ട് യു ആർ ജസ്റ്റ് ഹിം സിംപ്ലി യു നോ മൂവിംഗ് ബാക്ക് ബിക്കോസ് യു ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് യുവർ ഫ്രണ്ട് യു ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് യുവർ ബ്രദർ യു ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് യുവർ സിസ്റ്റർ യു ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് യുവർ ലേണിംഗ് യു ആർ തിങ്കിങ് അബൌട്ട് യുവർ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ആൻഡ് യു ആർ നോട്ട് മൂവിംഗ് ഫോർവേഡ് യു ആർ നോട്ട് ടേക്കിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് ആക്ഷൻ ബട്ട് ടുഡേ ആസ് എ ഡിസൈപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ജീസസ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് യു നീഡ് ടു മേക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഡിസിഷൻ ഹലലൂയ നമ്മൾ ചിലർ ആ തീരുമാനം എടുത്തേ ഒക്കത്തുള്ളൂ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ആത്മാവ് പറഞ്ഞേച്ച് ചെയ്യാതിരിക്കുന്ന പുള്ളികളുണ്ട് ഹലലൂയ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഫേവറബിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു സിറ്റുവേഷൻ വരട്ടെ എന്ന് ചിന്തിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന ആളുകളുണ്ട് ഹലലൂയ ഒന്ന് രണ്ട് കൺഫർമേഷൻ കൂടെ ആകട്ടെ എന്ന് ചിന്തിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ആൾക്കാരുണ്ട് ഹലലൂയ ഇന്ന് രാവിലെ അവരോട് ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ആത്മാവിൽ വിളിച്ച് പറയുക നീ ഇന്ന് തന്നെ തീരുമാനമെടുക്കുക പുറകോട്ട് മാറുവാനല്ല ദൈവം തന്നെ വിളിച്ചത് Yeshuvinte sishyana poragottu pogan pattathilla a disciple of Jesus Christ you cannot move backward you move forward hallelujah there is no going back for a disciple of Jesus Christ hallelujah yeshuvinte sishyana poragottu nu parna oru vali illa hallelujah chala aalukal engana poragottu ponu nu vicharichonda ponadu hallelujah have you seen you know, just people walking in the pack some people are there they don't want to they don't want to be on the front they just want to be on the back side some people wanted to be on the back side of the church all right i'm not talking about you with the kids okay some people prefer the back side because it's easy for them to accept it's easy for them to accept people of god i tell you this thing don't take that back line when it comes to the spiritual life okay i'm not talking about seating in the church okay somebody has to sit on the back side not everybody can sit in the in the first few pews of the church i know that but when it comes to the spiritual thing don't stay closer to the exit don't stay closer to the exit because that's easier for you to get out 
Andrew was a disciple who wanted to be on the forefront. He did not ask anybody permission. He did not ask, you know, just uh, his logic to tell him. He did not ask his master how, what, a, what kind of, you know, decision I should make. When the truth was revealed to him, he wanted to act on the truth. Hallelujah. And the next thing as a disciple of Jesus Christ, we see what he did. He was willing to introduce someone to Jesus. Are you willing to introduce somebody to Jesus? You know Jesus, right? How many of you know Jesus Christ? I know everyone here. Hallelujah. But are you willing to introduce somebody to Jesus Christ? What did Andrew do immediately? Verse number 41. The first thing, that's what the word of God tells us here. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, we have found the Messiah. That is Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. And he brought him to Jesus. He found his, you know, his brother, and he brought him to Jesus. Now, normally, we are very much happy with the Lord Jesus Christ, right? We really love him, but we don't want to share him with anybody else. We don't want to introduce somebody to the Lord Jesus Christ. We are in our comfort zone. Look at this. He was okay living with Jesus Christ. He could have stayed with Jesus. He allowed him to stay one night and the next thing he did was the next morning he went to, you know, look for his brother. Hallelujah. You know, we all wanted our church to grow. There's some actions involved in that. We had to go and act. We have to go act on the truth that is revealed. And sometimes we don't do that because, you know, we don't think about other people. Just like we need Jesus, others also need Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are very happy with the eternal life that God has given us. But what about the other person? What about your friend? What about the person, you know, just who attends uh, 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 the same class with you? Have you ever get a chance to talk about Jesus Christ? You know, I tell you this. One of the things that I don't like about baptism services is this, that we all call our friends. Hallelujah. We call our friend from this church. We call our friend from that church. We call our friend from, you know, just uh, different other places. And basically, they all are church goers. You know, we need to call somebody from outside. Call your friends who are not believers in Jesus Christ. Call your relatives who are not a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. Call them. Let them come and let them see what is happening. You can tell them that I found the Messiah. I found Christ the Messiah. Hallelujah. That is your testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all look for stages and we all look for, you know, just a platform where we could talk. And I tell you, our platform is our neighbor. Our platform is our friend. Our platform is our colleague. We need to go and talk about the Lord Jesus Christ. And look at how Andrew did. Andrew didn't say that, you know, I found a man here. You don't have to logically say all those things. You just simply have to say, I found the Messiah. You talk about your experience. You know, I'm so happy and I want to share my experience with you, my friend. You know, yesterday we were going through a lot of trouble and, and, and I had the joy within me. And the reason is the Lord Jesus Christ and I want to talk about him to you. What I experience. You just simply have to tell. You don't have to logically say all the stuff. You know, man was sinful and then one day God decided, okay, he wanted to do something and he sent his son to this earth to die. Simply tell your experience. I found Messiah and I'm a happy person. I found somebody. You know, simply tell them this experience every time you talk about the Lord Jesus Christ. I want my church to do this. When birthdays come, when special days come, call somebody who don't know about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's okay if you don't call me. I'm fine with that. But call somebody, you know, who 
never tasted the Lord Jesus Christ and tell them, you know, I celebrate this day because I love the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one who 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 is Use every opportunity to talk about the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's the speciality of a disciple. He found his brother. Go. You know, just you have to take that initiative to find your brother. Okay, go, go and find him. Then tell him, open your mouth. It's okay, open your mouth. And sometimes we use the, this thing, you know, like, oh, I'm not good in language. എനിക്ക് ഭാഷയോട് അത്ര വലിയ ഇതില്ല ആൻഡ് ഓഫ്റ്റൻ ഐ തിങ്ക് അബൌട്ട് യു നോ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് സെഞ്ചുറി ക്രിസ്ത്യൻസ് ദർ മെനി ഓഫ് ദം ദർ സ്പോക്ക് യു നോ ഹീബ്രൂ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ആൻഡ് സം ഓഫ് ദം വെർ ഏബിൾ ടു സ്പീക്ക് ഗ്രീക്ക് ബട്ട് ദർ വെൻ ടു ഓൾ കൈൻസ് ഓഫ് പ്ലേസസ് ആൻഡ് ദർ ഷെയർ ദ ഗാസ്പൽ ഹലലൂയ ഹലലൂയ എ ഡിസൈപ്പിൾ ഇസ് സം വൺ ഹു ഷെയർസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ലോർഡ് ജീസസ് ക്രൈസ് ആൻഡ് ബ്രിങ് അതേഴ്സ് ടു ദ ലോർഡ് ജീസസ് ക്രൈസ് ഹിയർ ഇൻ വേഴ്സ് നമ്പർ 42 വി ഫൈൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് You know, Andrew brought his brother. Not only that, in John chapter 12, there's a story. John chapter 12, verse number 20. And Jesus was marching to Jerusalem and, and, and a lot of people were hanging out with him and they were witnessing the miracle and all of a sudden, some Greeks came. They wanted to see people from Greece. They just, you know, heard about the stories of Jesus Christ and they wanted to meet. They wanted to meet Jesus Christ and they came to Philip. Philip is another disciple. And he came to Philip, they came to Philip and said, hey, we want to meet with Jesus. And what did Philip do? All right? What did Philip do? Philip just straight went to Andrew and said, there are some people out there, they wanted to see Jesus. Why was Philip, the disciple Philip, decided to go to Andrew? Because he knew that Andrew knew how to introduce a person to Jesus Christ. So he comes to Andrew and told him this and Andrew took them to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is one story. And also in John chapter 6 we find, uh, you know, when Jesus was feeding the 5,000 people, who was the disciple who brought that little boy to Jesus? Yohanan is a disciple of Adam and Adam. He 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 is a disciple of Adam and Adam. Hallelujah. Let me tell you my friend, we should introduce other people to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Use every occasion to bring someone to the Lord Jesus Christ. My prayer is this that everyone in our church would go and talk freely about the Lord Jesus Christ to other people. Hallelujah. മറ്റുള്ള ഒരു ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ കുറിച്ച് പറയണം എന്നുള്ളതാണ് എൻ്റെ ഹൃദയത്തിലെ ആഗ്രഹം നമ്മുടെ സഭയിലുള്ള എല്ലാവരും. Let me just move on. Andrew was a learner. ആൻഡ്രു അന്ത്രയോസ് പഠിക്കാൻ താല്പര്യമുള്ളവനായിരുന്നു പഠിക്കാൻ താല്പര്യമുള്ളവനായിരുന്നു മാർക്ക് ചാപ്റ്റർ തേർട്ടീൻ വേഴ്സസ് വൺ ത്രൂ ഫോർ മർക്കോസിന് സുവിശേഷം പതിമൂന്നാം അധ്യായം ഒന്ന് മുതൽ നാല് വരെയുള്ള വാക്യങ്ങൾ ആസ് ജീസസ് വാസ് ലീവിംഗ് ദ ടെമ്പിൾ വൺ ഓഫ് ഹിസ് ഡിസൈപ്പിൾസ് സെറ്റ് ഹിം ലുക്ക് ടീച്ചർ വട്ട് എ മാസീവ് സ്റ്റോൺസ് ആൻഡ് വട്ട് മഗ്നിഫിസൻ ബിൽഡിങ്സ് ഇ വിസ് ജസ് യു നോ പോയിന്റിംഗ് ടുവേർഡ്സ് എ ടെമ്പിൾ ആൻഡ് സെറ്റ് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദോസ് മാസീവ് സ്റ്റോൺസ് the building itself is so beautiful magnificent and we will read when verse number 2 it says do you see all these great buildings replied jesus not one stone here will be left and another left on another every one will be thrown down as jesus was sitting on the mount of olives opposite to the temple peter james john and andrew asked him privately tell us when will these things happen and what will be the sign that they are all about to be fulfilled they wanted to learn from jesus they wanted to know from jesus they were learners andrew was a learner he wanted to learn now why is it important what is the reason it is important because we know that a disciple is somebody who learns and who teaches other people because in matthew chapter 28 verses uh, uh, 18 on we find like this then Jesus came and said to them all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost and teaching them to obey everything i have commanded 
If we had to make disciples, we had to teach them. If we had to teach them, we had to learn. How many of you take time to learn from God's word? Hallelujah. We often say that, no, I don't know much about the word. You know, people of God, we had to take that initiative to learn from the word so that you can tell other people. When they ask questions, you don't have to run to another person for an answer. He is able. It's not just kept for the pastors. It's not just kept for the prophets. It's not just kept for some specialists, you know, just to do all these things. This is all given to all of us. It's all given to all of us. You ask the Lord to teach you from the word. I remember one time when I was preaching in Nepal. You know, I went to that place with no preparation at all. I had a 15-minute sermon. I had a 15-minute sermon with me that I practiced over and over. If one line, if I miss it, then I will miss the whole sermon. I was not a talker. I'm not a speaker. But I just learned this thing because I have to say it out of obligation or compulsion. I went to that place. It was a youth camp. 800 people were there from three tribes on the top of a hill. There was no power there. There was no microphones. There were no, you know, just lights like this or the bulbs like this. They had only Petromax. I don't know whether you have, you know, our young people may not have seen those things. You put kerosene, kerosene in it and you pump it and with that gas, you know, just you light that gas light. That's what a, a Petromax is. 800 people from three tribes were there. And the pastor who was hosting that meeting, they asked me to preach. And I said, I will preach 15 minutes. And he said, they are here to listen to the word of God. That was a rebuke to me. I was a young, you know, a person. I was not that capable. I was not able to stand up. And, and that pastor just really rebuked me. He just told me that you're not here to say something. You're here to preach the word of God. And I said, your people are going to sleep. Because it was 10 o'clock in the night. We reached there at 10 o'clock. And the people were waiting eagerly to listen to the word of God. At 10 o'clock in the night. And I knew my trick was not going to work. And that day somehow I preached, I still remember. And in the work on the pressing each other, I was shivering. I was, you know, just didn't know what was, uh, what I was, what I should be saying. And I was struggling with the language. I was struggling with words. I felt like the translator was preaching on my message. You know, the very next day, they, you know, that day they gave me the list for the next two days. I don't remember whether it was two days or three days, but all the meetings, every session, I am preaching. There was no other preacher. I thought there would be other people to preach. But I was only one. That night I went into the presence of God. I fell on the floor and I cried out to the Lord. I said, Lord, I don't have anything to give to this people. And and the Lord began to speak to me from the word of God. Every time when I pick up the word, the word would speak to me. You know, just I love the word of God. And I desire for the word of God. And let me tell you, my friend, you want to be a learner. Hallelujah. You ask the Lord and the Lord is going to give you that wisdom. Hallelujah. You know, Tebi is an avid reader. Last time when I, when I went to his place and he said, he showed me all his books and he, show, he asked me, Pastor, how many books do you have? You know, I said, I have only a few books and he couldn't believe that. He couldn't believe that. He said, he said, a few books? I said, I had a lot of books, but I just gave it to some library, you know, just I don't want to use any more of those things. I read selective reading, but not, I, I love to read, but I don't, I, don't, I don't go with all the commentaries because I learn this thing when I don't understand a passage from the scripture. I ask the Lord, hallelujah. Lord, I don't know what the scripture tells me, but you speak to me because I believe that the author of this book is with, he's present with the book. And when you ask the Holy Spirit, 
that he would give you the word that is needed in your life and that is needed for you to teach other people too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Andrew was an avid l- learner. A disciple is a learner. If you truly follow the Lord Jesus Christ, let me tell you, there should be a desire for his word. Let me just move on. Hallelujah. He believed even small things would matter. Sometimes we all are for big things. He believed that even small things would matter. John chapter 6 verse number 8. And you know, in the beginning of the chapter, we see a lot of people gathering before Jesus and you know, Jesus has looked at this crowd and he wanted, to ask a, he wanted to ask his disciples, how do we get food for them? It's not because Jesus didn't know how to do it. He wanted to test. The word of God tells there very clearly that he wanted to test his disciples. He wanted to see how things are going to be. And Philip immediately answered. And if you look at the, the words of Philip, you find this. Even if we have, so they don't have. Say, so even if we have a half year of wages... We won't be even able to give a bite to them. In other words, Eric Barnella, what you are certain the Pagadi, Namada Adwanathan, the Palam Mundangilum, our Kanaka, which would again, Namuanka, the Konola, Parimanam, Alangaladilla. So we don't have anything with us. So immediately you find Andrew. He just looked around. He found a little boy with, you know, uh, we found a, you know, he found a little boy with five loaves of bread and two uh, fishes. And what did he do? And he said to him, this thing, another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and, and two small fish. But how far will they go among so many? And I fully believe that, you know, normally no one would say a stupid answer. If I ask you, how do we give food to all the people? And nobody is going to say that, well, pastor, we have, uh, uh, you know, a little, piece, a little, a small piece of bread that we used last time for the communion. You won't say it because you know that that's not sufficient. But Andrew believed that Jesus could do something big with even small things. As a disciple of Jesus Christ, let me just ask you this question. Do you believe that Jesus can do greater things in your life, in other people's life, even with smaller things? Hallelujah. Should have that faith in you. Hallelujah. Andrew was a man of faith and he was able to bring that little boy. Hallelujah. Even though it seems like stupidity before other people, he just brought him and he said, Jesus, we have five loaves and two fishes. Hallelujah. A disciple is somebody who is willing to give even smaller things into the hands of Jesus because he believes that in the hands of Jesus, things would change. Hallelujah. When you put your life in the hands of Jesus, things are going to change in your life. When you put your understanding in the hands of Jesus, things are going to change. Hallelujah. When you put your marital relationship in the hands of Jesus, things are going to change. Hallelujah. People of God, let me tell you this, that we should be willing to give our lives in the hands of Jesus Christ. Whether it is small or whether it is big, you know, just give it in the hands of Jesus Christ. Bring it before the Lord Jesus Christ and say, Lord, this is yours. Hallelujah. This is yours. I know that the Lord would bring great things, you know, just out of it. Hallelujah. And if you look at the response of Jesus, Jesus immediately said, you know, make people sit down in rows. He did not say, what is this, Andrew? He did not say, why, Andrew, you brought this little guy with, uh, you know, five loaves of bread. He did not rebuke him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He just simply said, you know, make people line up and sit down. Make them sit down and I'm going to give food to them. Hallelujah. People of God, sometimes we know just we don't want to give our little things in the hands of God. We have doubts. We have questions. We have issues. Our logic stands on the way. Our reasoning would stand on the way. And then we don't want to give it in the hands of Jesus Christ. Do you know why we don't see miracles? Do you know why we don't experience the power of Jesus Christ in our lives? Because we don't want to give our little in the hands of God. Because logically that doesn't fit. Reasoning doesn't fit there. Just think about this incident. You know, when you say 5,000 people, it is almost like 17 to 18,000 people. Think about giving meal to 17,000 people. 
Now little kids and women and all those people, you know, just you count all those, we have a big number. And now, no one got anything in their hand. The only thing that was present there was five loaves of bread and two fishes. You cannot, with all your understanding, you cannot reason it. There is no reasoning in it. Hallelujah. There is no way you could connect, you know, five loaves of bread and think, you know, like even in your wildest imagination, I don't think no one can think that you could, you know, make it into small pieces and, and give it to all these people. No, it doesn't work. Hallelujah. Sometimes when we go into the presence of God, we bring all our reasoning, we bring all our understanding, we bring our, you know, previous experience and all those things before him and we won't find anything happening in our life. That's the truth. That's the truth. I want to bring it before you, my friends. You know, just we should trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have experienced those things in my life. I learned in this country. I studied in this country. I never had any scholarships. I never had any kind of people, you know, just who sponsored me. I didn't know from where money would come. I remember times I see, you know, just sitting in my bedroom completely believing that the Lord is going to bring what money I needed for this semester by tomorrow, this time, because that's the last day to pay my tuition. And I've experienced so many, numerous times, let me put it that way, hallelujah, from places that I have never known, from people that I have not even, even, say, even this day, I don't know who gave that money. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People of God, let me tell you this. Today, I want to challenge your faith. A disciple is a person, you know, just who won't go with the reasoning. Sometimes we have to use reasoning. Sometimes we have to go with understanding. But when it comes to the things that, you know, just stands before us, it's not our reasoning. It comes, you know, to the presence of the Lord with the faith and say that, Lord, I know that even the small thing, with the small thing that you can work great and mighty things. Hallelujah. I bring it before you. How many of you would say that, Lord, I want to give my love to you. I want to give my family to you. I want to give my education to you. I want to give my career to you. Hallelujah. I don't know how to move forward, but I bring it before you because I'm, a, I'm your disciple. Hallelujah. I'm your follower. Hallelujah. I know that I, you are a way maker. I believe that you are a miracle worker. Hallelujah. I believe that it is possible with you. And because of that, I bring it before you. Hallelujah. Would you stand in the presence of the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. This morning, you know, just we have gone through the life of Andrew. You know, he was only mentioned in 12 verses in the entire scripture. Hallelujah. We don't find any more mentioning of Andrew in the Bible other than this 12 times. But all these places where you see this man standing out, you know, just he is just projecting, you know, just what is in him before other people, before his readers. Hallelujah. Would you be a person who would bring other people to the Lord? Hallelujah. Would you be a person who would learn from the Lord Jesus Christ? Would you be a person who would, you know, put even your small things before Jesus Christ and stand there, you know, wanting to see Jesus doing a great miracle for you? Hallelujah.